Welcome back everybody. We are currently back in Volta, our favorite place to be. We are back from our travels on the east coast of Canada. If you haven't seen those videos, make sure you go and check them out. We went to Montreal, Quebec City, went and visited Niagara Falls and spent a heap of time in Toronto exploring there as well. Just had so much fun, but we were absolutely exhausted when we got back. So it was great to be back in Volta. We are currently about 45 minutes out of Edmonton in Elk Island National Park. It's dusk at the moment, so we are just about to head out to what is called the Bison Loop. It's just the Bison Loop? Bison Loop. Bison Loop. We went past it when we came in yesterday and saw so many bison. So we are hoping to catch some more today. It's that time of day where all the animals are out. So fingers crossed. So we are at the Bison Loop. It's literally just a road that goes around, but it's just full of bison. It's obviously like a very popular area that they like to come and graze in the evening. I want a pat one. First it was a bear, and now it's a bison. Yeah, but they look way less intimidating than a bear. They're you just, reckon? Yeah, they're just big cows with horns. <laughs> and big head button heads. Yeah, but they're fluffy heads. Here we are, guys. Look. Wow. Look at the size of him. And this guy. Hi, buddy. Down the horizon. We missed it guys, but that's it right there going behind the horizon. Bye sun. We've been here two, two days nights. now. Yeah, so two nights now, but we've literally just been spending all of our time cleaning up Walter and setting him all up so it's livable for the next couple of weeks so we decided finally to get out and come for a little bit of a explore and a little bit of a look see around it's beautiful but we certainly wouldn't be going for a swim in here that is nasty you need tetanus after going in there. there's something swimming all the way out there it could be a muskrat oh, i wish you could see it look at him i mean i don't think you can see it at all on the camera but that is definitely a little muskrat out there apparently out here there he goes. Bye, little guy. On another note, how beautiful is this lake? So this is a Stoughton Lake, which is where we've been camping. Gotta love being back in the van. Time for some lunch. We just parked up at the car park at Astoton Lake. Um, we actually read that apparently this was the first wildlife reserve in Canada, which was really interesting. Apparently the locals back in 1906 put a big fence up to protect the elk. And then since then it's come from being Elk Park to Elk Island National Park. Haven't seen yeah. any elk though. No elk, lots <laughs> of bison and birds and yeah. squirrels, but no elk. But no elk, so we're gonna keep an eye out. But we're gonna make some lunch. Brandon's gonna have an egg and salad sandwich and I'm just gonna have a salad sandwich. Stop number two, which is Moss Lake, and we're just going to go for a little bit of a little bit of a walkies and have a look around here and see what there is out here as well. So we are here, but that is all we're going to go today because we aren't really in the full hiking at all. And I thought from here you'd be able to see the lake, but like that's all you could see. Yeah, lake, not there. Next. So there is also this Taoyuk Lake and Oster Lake that we were going to look at doing, but the trail takes us right the way around the lake, and this one's quite a hike as well. Apparently it's like a 15 kilometer hike, which we are definitely not prepared for for today. So we're going to pass on this today, maybe next time.
But on a side note, look, there's a little bison right in there. They're everywhere. So cool. We thought we would come do one last loop of the bison loop, but there is not a single bison to be seen. So if you do plan on coming to the Elk Island National Park and you want to see the bison, make sure you're heading out at dusk and dawn when they're active because you wouldn't even know they were here right now. Compared to like yesterday where there's thousands of them you yeah. can see as far as you up could see. Yeah. Today the only ones we've seen have been grazing on the side of the road or in the tree lines. In the tree lines, so. yeah. So we're going to start making our way out of Elk Island National Park now and we are going to head back into town ready to keep going on our other adventures that we have planned. And get a Starbucks. <laughs> Brandon's very keen on Starbucks. The Starbucks addiction has become real. It's a real thing, guys. It's a real thing. It's a problem. Chelsea started it. I definitely did not start it. <laughs> you definitely did start it. How did I start it? Because you were like, I want to try one of these. And then next minute. Oh, yeah, the conference mic's on. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I started it. My bad. Hey, look at the Starbucks. How are you doing today? Good, yourself? I'm good, thank you for asking. What can I get started for you? Can I please get a iced apple crisp oat macchiato? Yeah, definitely. What size? Um, grande, please. Sounds good. Can I actually get two of them, please? Yeah, of course. Anything else? Was that everything for you today? Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Awesome. You're looking to talk at the window. Um, was she just like the nicest Starbucks person that's ever served us, like ever? I think she might have been. Oh, Molly. <laughs> Good job, Starbucks Edmonton. Yeah. Don't know whereabouts in Edmonton. Emerald Lake, Emerald Wait. somewhere. The only big sad about this Starbucks is they don't have Chelsea's Caramel Crunch Iced Frappuccino. I'm a bit mad about it. <laughs> I got the first one the other day and it was delicious. Let us know in the comments below what a Starbucks drink combo deliciousness should we try? Yum yums. So far we've tried the pumpkin spice latte the apple oat latte and the iced version of it. The brown sugar one the I had. The brown sugar one brown had and then I had the caramel oat crunchy crispy deliciousness. What should we have? What's your favourite? Let us know. Comment below. Please. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Would you like straws? Um, no, no thank, thank you. you. Sounds good. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have yeah, have a great day. You too. We have our Starbucks. We are all set for the rest of our afternoon. Brandon's a happy chappy. He's got his basic white girl drink. <laughs> we hope that you have enjoyed our video of Elk Island National Park. Guys, we had an awesome time. We'd love to get back there again and actually do some of the hiking trails and see a little bit more. And if you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, share it with your friends, family, your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, your neighbour <laughs> down the road, whoever. We've got a goal of 500 subscribers. If you can help us get there, that would be amazing. And thanks so much for watching, guys. We will see you next video. Bye! Bye.